someone recently asked me this question and they were like, how do you take all that time out? How, what's your schedule like? How, how do you actually take all that time out by doing so many different courses, uh, working like crazy? Uh, you play soccer <laughs> as, as well. You go to the gym. And then you teach as well. So are you like a superhuman and you don't even get sick on one of the days? What's wrong? Like, am I missing something out there? Are you like a superhuman or what? how do you do it? And I just had one simple answer for them. And I was like, to be honest, it's, it's simple. It's nothing difficult or I don't see it any inhumane thing or something superhuman that way what I do it's all about when you're chasing that passion that you have that doesn't allow you to sleep at night those dreams that you see and then you want to chase them and you want to become the better version of yourself that passion has to be so real that it doesn't allow you to sleep at night because if it allows you to chill and do all the fun bits and relax and let's not, let's skip today, let's do something tomorrow. I don't feel like doing anything today. That's what's difficult. However, if you really are focused on your goals, then you actually take time off for things that are important. At the same time, my pursuit or my journey, I've also missed out on so many other things. I've sacrificed so much of my personal time, so much of my other elements in life. I've, I've sacrificed so much of the relaxation time that I might say to be able to deliver or what I say to be able to do things consecutively on a regular basis back to back again and again. Otherwise, for the first three years after doing the ADC or for a fresh graduate, they have to do 60 hours in the first three years. And we were having a chat. I was like, I, I crossed 300. The courses I do or the learning I do or the teaching sessions that I, you know, do as well. So I teach, I learn. And then my clinical skills as well, because I work like crazy as well. And then I want to take, make sure I go to the gym, stay fit, stay healthy, try to have a balanced life. It's not easy. But when you're passionate about something, when your passion has turned into something that we call it as obsession, when you understand the difference between these two things, nobody's going to ask me that question again. Because passion is something when you look at people and you're like, this guy's like, has so much to give and he's always working and you know, it's just people are saying good things about you. But obsession is something when people start talking differently about you and they're like, this guy's crazy. I don't know how he does it. I don't know why he does it. Like he's done a, such an amazing case, but he's never happy. He want to de deliver more. He want to become better better at every every single point in his life where he feels like it could have been delivered better. That's the difference which takes you to a point where a lot of people feel it's technically impossible and you feel like, really? I felt like I could have done a bit better. <laughs> so I don't know how impossible it is. Kobe Bryant, if you listen to this guy, is an NBA player. And that's what he was saying that I wake up every morning at 4 a.m., so when people are sleeping at that time and they wake up at 8 or 7.30 or 4, I've already done three hours of extra work. So to be able to compete with me, it's not that easy. To become Kobe Bryant, you have to be at my level. So every year, I do 3 multiply by 365. If you multiply that, 3 multiply by 365, that much hours every year extra. So if you want to compete with me, you have to deliver that extra hour as well. That's very important. And everyone, we see people, people's lifestyle, and we see people's social media. Social media is such a, I would say, 
um, I won't say a wrong image and it's not a fake image as well, but social media only shows you the good bits, the highlight of someone's life. They don't show you the downside. We see someone and we see someone really successful. We see someone and we'll be like, oh, that guy looks amazing or that girl looks amazing. They've developed such an amazing business or look at their lifestyle. We forget one most important thing. How many years did it take them to develop that lifestyle? The background work is missing that nobody sees. Look at someone. I always give an example of Cristiano Ronaldo and his mentality and his hard work. The, the amount of effort he puts in on a daily basis, every single day, he doesn't take a break. That makes him Cristiano Ronaldo. And even after earning so much money, he hasn't stopped now. He's still busting himself to able to maintain that level. There's two, two phases in life. One, you try to chase your dream to become the best person out there. And second, to be able to maintain that. That is even more crucial and something even more difficult to do. So a simple answer to all the people who ask me as recent someone, we have a new clinician who joined us. And he was asking me the same thing that, how do you actually do that? I, I, I can't, I can't do even a single diploma because I don't have, how do I, I don't get time. How do you do all those things? How is it even possible? And that's what I told him. And that's my answer to everyone out there that, you know, put in the effort. And if you feel like it's important, then you will take time out and you will be able to deliver because that thing won't let you sleep in the nighttime. Hope this message is answered. And for all the people who, who follow someone and they feel like, you know, I want to become someone like them, try to research on the background work they have done. Don't see their social media and say, I want to become like this. Say how much work they have done in the past 12, 20, 15, 30 years to be where they are and start doing the homework. Start doing the bad background work they're doing to be able to see where they are now that you'll be there in the next 15, 20, 30, 10 years. All right, God bless you all. Let's keep going. There's a long way to go. And I wish everyone the same. So God bless you.